The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon and welcome to the sneak peek at Design Arts. We're so excited. Uh, this new collection for Orion is being launched at IWCE later this month at Las Vegas um, Design and Construction Week. And by the way, I'll mention it again, but if you're coming to Vegas to Design and Construction Week, be sure and stop by the booth. We're at IWCE booth 6. 15 and see the new collection and some of the other exciting things that I'll talk about at the end. But let's kind of just dive in and we want it. We're so excited to show you this new collection. We've been working on it for quite a while and um, we wanted to share it with you today. It really is uh, a pretty encompassing collection going from the elegantly simple to a lot of exquisite details. It's all for drapery hardware designs, definitely decorative, and it's really all about customization. For us at Orion, um, spurring creativity and customization is our specialty. Every order is handcrafted for you in um, California. So whether you're looking for poles or finials or rings, brackets, centerpieces and adornments, design art, really has it all for you and it's all handcrafted. The inspiration for the line really came from you all, the designers. We uh, reached out to you and said, what do you want in a decorative drapery hardware line? And you told us um, you, there were several things that were on your must-have list. First of all, you wanted finials and rod enders that were, you know, original designs uh, that fit a um, all different pole sizes from one and three eighths up to three eight three inches. Find it hard, and I know how it is being a designer myself. Is you find just the right finial, and then you're like, oh gosh, this isn't working for the two inch pole that I I've specified for the client. You said you wanted something that was sophisticated and original and flexible. You asked us to bring crystal into play in um, design art collection. So we've got 16 styles of Swiss crystal and we've brought in our Bohemian crystal and we have a variety of uh, bases that go with that. So we again, distinctive and gorgeous um, designs that can be multifunctional for, it, for you. You told us you would like really unique pole designs like inlays. Um, so we've given you 10 original inlay designs. These work on our two and a quarter and three inch poles. Obviously inlays on one and three eighths inch poles don't always um, scale out correctly and look right. And then of course we uh, took it one step further by adding all the coordinating finials and rings and brackets um, that'll work with it. You said you wanted um, a variety of functioning poles, whether it was decorative for stationary panels, whether it was traversing done manually, or even motorization. We've given that to you. You said, don't forget about accessories, whether it's decorative brackets or hold back backs and medallions, whether it's rings, whether it's even hand bedons for the manual traversing systems. And then you said give us some finishing touches. So we've added what we call adornments um, from centerpieces uh, for the poles to medallions to even stair newels that coordinate with your stairs and banisters within your client's home. And last but not least, finishes. I know um, how designers can be. We can give you 50 finishes and you're wishing that you had 51. So we've given you lots and lots of choices in finishes. We've um, worked on what we call our dual finish system which I'll share with you in a minute and then we're also offering custom color hand finish combinations. So basically um, when you put our dual finish system together with um, our 58 finishes, I think it works out to be about 685 finishes, but when you add in the custom colors that you can do, it's basically infinite. So the whole idea here is you're able to finally create your own individual, truly custom look for your clients. So what's in the collection? Well, first of all, finials. Um, 
you ask for unique designs, and we've got loads of them. But one thing that we've done that we're um, extremely proud of is we've developed an adapter. And so you can choose a finial, and this adapter will automatically be added based on what pole size you specify on your order at no additional charge. So again, if you're using a, um, a two inch or a three inch pole, and you need an adapter for the finial that's maybe specifically for a one and three eighths inch, we will include that in your order at no extra charge. We've got one and three eighths inch poles, we have uh, finials, we have finials for two and a quarter, and two inch and three inch poles. As you can see, some of the hand carved designs, again, all done here in the US. There's some really um, highly detailed like the eucalyptus. What you're seeing on the left, by the way, is our single finish. And then on the right, the catalog will show you a dual finish. And I'll talk more about that when we get in, into finishes. I think this is a really interesting one, the Prestige, which is, is square and has the cross hatching. There's something for everyone in our finial choices. Rod enders. Sometimes finials um, just aren't going to work because you just don't have enough um, wall space to do that beautiful um, finial, but you don't want it to just sit in a socket or put a end cap on it. You want to have some decorative um, an aesthetic look to it. So that's where our rod enders come into play. Um, <clears throat> whether you they um, are an end right onto the uh, pole or whether they actually fit back onto the pole, you're going to find um, loads of options when it comes to rod en enders. Um, they're usually smaller in scale and proportion. Um, they're great for tight corners and small spaces. They're definitely going to complement your traditional size finial. So if you have different windows, assorted windows in a room, you can put rod enders that uh, coordinate with a finial on uh, one to the other. They're available in several lengths. We've got small ones like the Sonnet, which are about one inch, and we have the Operas, which are about an inch and a quarter, all the way up to the larger sizes like the Concerto or the Polonese, which um, the Polonese is actually three and five eighths. Here are some examples. As I said, they just typically can go on the end or they can act as a sleeve that comes back onto the rod. Just a tip here, if you are choosing a sleeve rod ender, like the petals or the plume, don't forget that you need to know what that measurement is so that you can um, order the correct bracket to bracket and pull size that will accommodate the sleeve and the last ring. As you can see, um, here's the overture that I mentioned. This is like three and three quarters. Um, this is in, in a single finish and in a double finish. So we have quite an array of uh, rod enders. Then crystal. We're really excited about where we've gone with crystal. This is our, we have two crystal um, parts to the collection. We have the Swiss crystal, which is 24% full leaded crystal. I mean, it's true, mouth-blown, hand-cut. There are 16 styles, and there's 28 bases, four medallion bases, and four different holdback options with these crystals. Um, they come and are available in our 58 hand-painted pa decor finishes and also in the dual finish system with 11 accent finishes, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. There's also Swiss crystal on iron, so you can get Swiss crystal on wood and on iron, and then our very popular Bohemia crystal has moved over into design arts with 16 styles of Bohemia crystal on wood finials. We also have adapter bases and holdback options available. So when you're choosing your Swiss crystal finial, one thing to definitely keep in mind is that typically most of our styles with Swiss crystal are round, and the diameter me uh, measures the length of the height. We give you all these measurements in our catalog, so you're going to know what's going to fit. They all fit a standard base and no additional charge, and we can. Um, you also can choose um, three different ways to mount this. So. 
um, we'll show you that in a minute. Here are some of the hand cut. Again, 24% lead crystal. On This is a sculpted base. We have several different bases. They're, they're gorgeous. Can you imagine these shining uh, with the light streaming into a window in your client's home? When it comes to holdbacks, you can specify a U holdback, an iron projection, or a wood projection. And again, all our projections come in three, four, six and a half, or six inches, as you can see. So you've got loads of options when it comes to um, doing these as uh, custom holdbacks. Now, crystal's available in three different ways. You can get the petite base. Mounted, the crystal mounted on the petite base, on your classic base, or on the more decorative sculpted base. And again, there's no additional charge for this. You just need to specify it when you're writing your work order. So as you can see, there you, there's just an infinite number of ways that you can customize these products for your clients. It's going to be hard to make a choice. Here's our Swiss crystal on inch and a quarter iron rods. There's five different finishes. Um, <clears throat> the standard base is included in the price. And the Bohemia crystal, again, on our wood only. Um, so it's a little, in some cases, a little bit more um, streamlined in a simplified design, a little bit more transitional or modern. Then the inlaid collection is exquisite. It's really wonderful. So what is an inlaid you know, collection? Well, basically, we're borrowing um, inspiration from inlaid wood furniture, which actually inlaid wood furniture dates back to the pharaohs of Egypt. And it's typically in intricate designs that are carved into the main wood piece, whether it's a cabinet or a chest, and then usually filled with exotic wood veneers. Our um, inlay designs are made in the same way. They're hand carved. There are 10 of these designs, and they really um, range from traditional styles like scrolls and garlands to more transitional styles like a cameo and a pinwheel. They're all hand carved. They're um, all available in our 58 hand painted finishes, plus custom color and the dual finish. Here are some examples the ornament, the paisley, the scroll, here's the pinwheel, it's a little bit more transitional as you can see. Now um, the inlays come two different ways. They come continuous, which means that the pattern runs from end to end, and anytime um, you have poles that are over four feet, they are going to be spliced. You want to keep that in mind, and when you're specifying what size poles you're going to need and where you want to place that spice, splice, because you obviously wherever you have a splice, you're going to want to put a bracket. And then there's a repeat inlay, which um, are typically centered on your pole, as you can see here now, and then we would repeat it. Again, any poles that are over four feet that have um, multiple repeat inlays, they would be spliced together. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when you're choosing your bracket. We also have decals. So decals can be used on finials on bases and on brackets. And what they are is they're little um, hand carved detail pieces. This is our, these are our choices. They can be finished in either our accent finish or in one of our decor finishes. And then we would hand apply them um, where you would specify on the finial. So as you can see, here's the autumn finial. It's in mahogany, and we used a, a dual finish with a gold leaf accent, and we applied the autumn decal onto the finial. The typical finial just has a cross hatching, and then we, they, we came in and um, hand applied and hand painted it. And then we um, matched it with the um, autumn inlay in mahogany and gold leaf again on the pole and then coordinated it with a coronet ring. 
So by the way, these all can be done not only as just poles, but also as traversing systems, both manual and motorized. So you have great options. Here again, we use the upper decal, and we placed it um, on the finials. Poles. We have four different choices. Your smooth, your fluted, your rope, and your inlay. And they come in um, from inch and three-eighths, two inches, two and a quarter, and three inches. The, this is really our answer, let's be honest, to um, wood poles that are out there, whether it's from our competitors like uh, Finial Company or Paris Texas Hardware. This is our answer, but we really feel that when you look at what our finishes are, the hand-painted finishes that, that we touch you know, every time it's uh, handcrafted, that we've really set the bar high. As I mentioned, you can do order just poles for stationary treatments. We do manual traversing. We actually have um, a master carrier on the manual traversing. You can also do front poles and back poles. So if you want to do double decorative looks, you can. Whether you want to use um, a smooth, a fluted, or um, a rope front, you can um, put a smooth pole behind it. You can also put inlays in the front. You can use end caps on your back poles and finials on your front poles. All our poles come up to 30 feet in length, so we answer the question for all those large, oversized windows and doors also. And we, we use the Sunfi motorization system, so our traversing system will come with a pole, all your heavy-duty track that's been uh, routed at the back, with our glides, by the way, all of our um, carriers are colored. So if you're using a gold leaf, as you can see, a gold leaf um, pole and finial, you're getting the gold carriers, you're getting a gold um, overlay on your motor and on your master carriers. So you aren't seeing all those white glides up at top. And there's, all your sets include not only the motors, the sleeves, the pulley covers, your end brackets, um, your end caps for your back rods. All you would have to order separately would be um, your finial choice. Accessories, we have that covered too. Decorative brackets from our standard, whether it's the European cup bracket, which I personally prefer, I think, mounting sometimes these standard brackets can be difficult. We have the curved one and then the, the um, standard block. And we have a standard block with a decorative medallion on the front, or decorative piece on the front, as you can see here. That's what it's going to look like when it's set on the rod. I think it's really beautiful, not coordinating your medallion um, on the bracket with your finial or we have truly decorative brackets, both available in our decor finishes and in our dual finish with accent colors. We, we do batons. We also are doing decorative socket brackets. We have our standards, but again, if you want something a little bit more decorative when you're doing a wall-to-wall -to, -wall to show off um, your custom product, we can offer that, we offer that too. I love our ring choices, both wood and iron, we, from you know the hammer to the twisted iron to the smooth ring. We do a fluted ring. We also do um, six styles of decorative hand-carved rings. So again, you can mix iron with wood. You can do iron poles with wood rings. There's lots of mixing and matching here. It's, again, all about celebrating your creativity and customization. I mentioned this earlier. We're doing center pieces. This happens to be the hallmark done in a dual finish, which is a black with a gold leaf applique, up to um, medallions and, of course, stair newels in this amazing crystal stair uh, newel finial that's 24% uh, cent full lead hand uh, cut mouth blown crystal. It's gorgeous. Great add on sale. Finishes. 
This is probably what we're um, most proud of when we put this collection together outside of some of the unique designs and um, offerings that we have for you. But as I mentioned, there are 58 decor finishes. And then we have this sort of our, what we're calling our dual finish system, which allows you to choose 11 accent finishes and mix and match with our 58 decor finishes. So all together, that's 685 different finish combinations. The catalog is set up so that you're seeing the same item done in a single decor finish with the number up here. Um, after the dash, by the way, it always tells you what pole size you're looking at in the picture, which is also very helpful. So here you're seeing it on um, a three inch pole and on a two inch pole here. So it really does help you in, from a scale standpoint. And then here's our dual finish. So what you're looking at is Paris Rain in the decor finish. And then we did gold leaf burnished accents on the finial and on the rings. But we didn't stop there. Um, here you can see, um, you know, silver leaf polished in an idea of where the dual finishes are going to fall. The decor finish is typically the base, and then anytime you have any kind of relief or hand carving, that's where you're going to see the ability to add one of those 11 accent finishes. But as we said, we didn't stop there. We did match my color. You can choose any color from a Ben Moore or a Sherwin-Williams color deck, or you can send us a fabric or a color swatch and we will match it and paint your hand paint your finials, poles, rings, accessories, and brackets in your specified color way. Or you can, we'll match your color and add one of our 11 accent finishes. So for example, you might want to do something in a hot pink and mix it with one of our silver leaf finishes. Who knows? Fourth, last but not least, you will match, will match your color and we can add highlights. And there's three different highlights, the gold, silver, and bronze. So you have an infinite amount of possibilities. Last but not least, it's like, how do you sell this? Oh my gosh. You know, I think um, that sometimes drapery hardware is difficult to sell because you're working out of a four color binder and um, or catalog. So we've given you some of the sale tools, not only from if you have a studio or um, a storefront, we have wall displays that you can definitely hang. But for those of you that are designers and typically working in the home, we have a set of four show-offs. Um, each it comes with a rod, a ring, and a finial, and it's done in either decor finishes or with a crystal and with our dual finish. And there's an inlaid rod, so you've got those four samples. They all come in a velvet bag, so you've got a really nice portable presentation. But how great is that to show the customer the quality and the detail work on an actual sample piece? To go along with that, we obviously have your catalog, which you can certainly sell out of. And as I said, all the measurements and finishes are really done well in there. You really get a good look at what... Um, is available and then we have our finish binder which has all of the decor finishes and the accent finishes in it so you can have an actual piece that you can pull out and show the customer what you're thinking about when you're working in customizing her decorative hardware so last but not least we'd love to do, take any questions that you might have and while you're typing in those questions we're going to do a um, drawing real quick. I got to call up my, um, there we go, Ella and ask her to send me um, the names that she drew. And for our winners, you're going to get um, a design art binder with all the finished samples in it. Um, they are actually being made um, as we speak. So please be patient with us for a few days or a couple of weeks so we can send the binders out to you. As I mentioned, we're really getting ready to launch all of this um, at IWCE in the coming uh, week. IWCE starts on the 19th of January. So our winners are Kathy Lawler, congratulations Kathy, 
and Misty Trevino. So will each of you in your question box um, type in an address where we can ship the binder to you? And congratulations. Anybody have any questions before I um, let you go? Um, oh, Tiffany is our uh, resident expert when it comes to design arts, and I want to make a correction. On the inlaid splice, the inlay is four feet long, so longer poles have the inlay spliced together. But you can do up to 16 feet on the inlaid pole. Um, pricing on the sales tool, um, good question. Um, Tiff or Ella, can you type in what that is? Can we get the cords in anything but white on your traversing rod? That's a great question, Kathy. I know. Everything's great when you have the um, sleeves and, and glides and carriers um, color match, but the cords are always white. Um, I believe they are always white, probably because the cord manufacturer only does it in white. Yep, so far still white. Um, Tiff, the question was uh, pricing on the design art binder with the finished samples. Catalogs are free. I also, so for those of you that are going to Vegas, please join us. As I said, we are in booth 615. Come and see us and we're really excited. We're going to be doing a design art selfie contest. We're going to have some of our pieces there to play around with, not only with design arts, but um, with <clears throat> all of our products and we want you to show us your social media skills so um, how the contest works is just take a picture of you with any of our products or our new design art collection products put it on post it on social media um, your social media of choice whether it's Instagram Pinterest or Facebook all you need to do is use the hashtag hashtag win or Ryan and we're going to be making choices of some of the um, fun and fantastic um, social media selfies and you'll win um, a 200 Orion voucher toward um, product so it's a great uh, way to get to see the product and to um, maybe get win a little bit of uh, cash voucher let me see, I've got a couple other questions here. Um, how do you ship a 30-foot rod? Um, typically, what we're, you know, anything over the 108 or whatever it is now with UPS, it, it can be shipped split, so you can UPS it, or if you need it longer, like a 16-foot or a 12-foot, it's going to come to you via freight. And our customer service gals can help you when you're specifying things like that, Kathy, to tell you what's going to be the most cost-effective um, way to ship those. Um, by the way, Susan, thanks for the question about asking about pricing on the sales tools. There, we're still working on the pricing uh, of that, so we will definitely get back to you. For those of you that would like to request a catalog, please do so by visiting our website, ironartbyorion.com. Click on the top at the blog, and um, it'll take you to a contact form in our most recent blog post to request a catalog. And by the way, don't forget to tell us where to send it, and we'll send you out one of the new design art catalogs. Any other questions before I let you go on this cold and wintry day for those of us that at least are in the Midwest? <laughs> it's like two below and windshield of about 15 below for me, so I'm glad to be in indoors today. Nope. Great. Thanks so much, and by the way, watch for our upcoming webinars in 2015 on a variety of subjects. Thanks so much, everybody.